Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking about measurement scales and the different types of charts applicable to variables measured in different measurement scales. Okay, so first of all there are four measurement scales. Nominal scale, where we will only have a label for the variable. For instance, if we have colors of car, blue and red, and we code blue as one and red as two. Here we cannot say that red is better than blue or we cannot say any difference between these two. These are just two labels given to two different types of categories. Then we can have ordinal scale where we can rank orders, we can rank order of objects or customers or anything or individuals. For instance, for certain types of product we can say we have non-users, light users and heavy users and we can give zero to non-users, one to light users and heavy users we give two. So we have a rank. The one with higher levels are using the product more than the ones with lower levels. So here we have a name but also we have a rank. In the or That's the ordinal scale. In contrast to ordinal scale in the interval scale, the differences between the ranks of the data points are equal. For example, in the ordinal scale, when we say non-user 0, then we say light user. Maybe light users are using it 5 times in a week. And maybe heavy users are using it 15 times in a week. So the difference bit is not equal from 0 to 1 and 1 to 2. Okay, But for interval scale, the differences between the different numbers or different ranks will be exactly the same. And one example we have is temperature. The difference between temperature of 5 degree to 10 degree is 5 and then 10 degree to 15 degree is also 5. So the numbers, the differences between each of the numbers means exactly the same value. Okay, But with interval we have one problem and that is interval does not have a starting point of 0. So for instance for temperature, when we have 0 degrees we feel cold. So it doesn't mean that there is no feeling at all or no temperature at all. So this is not a problem but this is one of the properties of interval scale. And uh, normally you will see there are many studies are going between ordinal scale and interval scale for Likert, uh, for, for data measured in a Likert scale, 5 point Likert scale or 7 point Likert scale. But usually when we have more than 5 or more categories, 5 or more orders or 5 or more ranks then we can treat them as interval scale. Okay, up to four categories we treat the rank order data as ordinal but more than four categories when we have five or more then we treat them as interval scale. And then we have ratio which is same as interval in general but it will have a origin point of zero. So cells in USD, cells of zero means no value at all, no cells at all. Or salary of zero means no salary at all, height of zero, weight of zero. So there we have exact same differences between the numbers but we also have a starting point of zero. And here with the changes in the measurement scales what happens is that the, the detail of information increases. Okay, So because in the first case we only had the label but in the second case we had label and order. In the third case we had label, order and differences are equal between numbers. And then in ratio we have label order differences and our origin is also zero. So the detail of information about the variable increases. And why it is important to understand the measurement scale? It is because for many differences of graphs and charts and descriptive statistics we have to rely on the measurement scales. So here I present a summary of that. So here if we look here on the nominal you see, for nominal we can do bar charts, but histogram box plots will not really make sense for it. And then for we can also do pie chart and frequency for nominal. So yeah, these are am among the univariate descriptives and tables. I in among the univariate graphs and tables, these are the three we will be valid to do for nominal. And the same applies to ordinal. But for interval or ratio scale, bar chart will not make sense but histogram and box plot will make better sense. We can do pie chart and frequency table, but it will not be meaningful to do that. So here the blanks represents invalid and the cross represents valid and we should we should do it. Uh, this can be applicable. And the ones with cross and bracket 
means that we can do it but it will not give any meaningful information. So in terms of invariate statistics, measures of centrality, mode, median and mean, for nominal we should use only mode. For ordinal we can use mode and median, but for interval and ratio we can use all three of them, mode, median and mean. For univariate statistics and measures of dispersion, here you see none of them applies to nominal values, nominal nominal variables. We can do for ordinal we can do range and interquartile, but it will not really make sense. But all of them applies to interval and ratio. Okay? And then for bivariate graphs and tables, we can do cross step for nominal and cross step for ordinal, but scatter plot applies to internal interval and ratio. And we can do cross step for interval and ratio, but it will not be meaningful to do that. For bivariate statistics, such as correlations, these are the three types of correlation for nominal variables. Contingency coefficient, Kramer's coefficient, pi coefficient. And for ordinal, we will often apply these two, Spearman correlation and Kendall style. And for interval and ratio, we will apply the Pearson correlation. So in the next video, I will show you some of these examples with, with data, okay? Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.